Hello everyone, I am Lauren Piliwanag, your mathematics teacher. In this video lesson, you will learn about Combinations If you have watched our last video lesson in permutations, I think you remember this. Task number one. A group of five members must select a president and a vice president. In how many ways can you arrange this? Yes, you remembered it. We have sub 5p sub 2 is equal to 5 factorial all over the quantity 5 minus 2 factorial is 5 times 4. We have 20 ways. These are the 20 possible arrangements. Let us now move to our second task. A group of 5 members must select 2 leaders. In how many ways can you arrange this group? Removing those with the same letters from our arrangements in task number 1, we have In arrangements, we need to consider if the objects are in order or not. Since the order is not important, so the number of arrangements is only 10 ways. To conclude, task number 1 is an example of permutation, and the task number 2, the subsets are called combination. A set of n objects to be arranged is called permutation, which means order does matter, and the subsets of r objects selected from n different objects are called combination, which means order does not matter. Just remember on how to differentiate a permutation from combination. Let us do illustration 1. From the acronym IATF, choose 3 without repeating any letters. A. If order does matter. B. If order does not matter, our solutions we have for A, sub 4 P sub 3 is equal to 4 times 3 times 2 is 24 ways. And for letter B, since order does not matter, only 4 from the 24 selection is found. Take note, we need to consider our combination formula. The number of different arrangements of n objects using R is less than or equal to n of them in which Number 1, the n objects are distinct. Number 2, once an object is used, it cannot be repeated. And number 3, order does not matter. Given by the formula, sub n c sub r is equal to n factorial all over r factorial times the quantity n minus r factorial. Let us have illustration 2. Evaluate the following. We have a sub 4 c sub 1. Letter B, sub 6, C sub 2, and letter C, sub 8, C sub 3. And our solutions for A, we have sub 4, C sub 1 is equal to 4 factorial all over 1 factorial times the quantity 4 minus 1 factorial is 4 factorial all over 1 factorial times 3 factorial is equal to expand 4 factorial we have 
4 times 3 factorial all over 3 factorial. Then we need to cancel out 3 factorial from our numerator and 3 factorial from our denominator. We have 4. For letter B, we have sub 6 C sub 2 is equal to 6 factorial all over 2 factorial times the quantity 6 minus 2 factorial is 6 factorial all over 2 factorial times 4 factorial then we have 6 times 5 times 4 factorial all over 2 factorial times 4 factorial then we need to cancel out the 4 factorial from our numerator and from our denominator then we have 6 times 5 all over 2 or 30 over 2 is 15 and letter C sub 8 C sub 3 we have 8 factorial all over 3 factorial times the quantity 8 minus 3 factorial is 8 factorial all over 3 factorial times 5 factorial then expanding 8 factorial we have 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 factorial all over 3 factorial times 5 factorial then we need to cancel out 5 factorial from our numerator and from our denominator then we have 8 times 7 times 6 all over 6 is 336 over 6 is 56. Let us do illustration 3. How many combinations can be made from COVID? C O V I D. If the letters are taken A, one at a time, and B, two at a time. Our solutions for letter A, we have sub 5 C sub 1 is equal to 5 factorial all over 1 factorial times the quantity 5 minus 1 factorial is 5 factorial all over 1 factorial times 4 factorial, we have 5 times 4 factorial all over 4 factorial. We need to cancel out our 4 factorial from our numerator and from our denominator and our final answer will be 5 ways. And for letter B, we have sub 5 C sub 2 is equal to 5 factorial all over 2 factorial times the quantity 5 minus 2 factorial is 5 factorial all over 2 factorial times 3 factorial we have 5 times 4 times 3 factorial all over 2 factorial times 3 factorial we need to cancel out 3 factorial from our numerator and from our denominator then we have 5 times 4 all over 2 or 20 over 2 is 10 ways Let us have illustration 4. A jar contains 4 blue balls and 3 red balls. Two balls are drawn at random. In how many ways can the two balls be drawn from 7 balls? A. If the color is not considered. B. If one ball is blue and one is red. C. If all two balls are blue and D if all two balls are red let us answer first letter A and our solution is sub 7 C sub 2 is equal to 7 factorial all over 2 factorial times the quantity 7 minus 2 factorial is 7 factorial all over 2 factorial times 5 factorial we have 7 times 6 times 5 factorial all over 2 factorial times 5 factorial then we need to cancel out 
5 factorial from our numerator and from our denominator, we have 7 times 6 all over 2, or 42 over 2 is 21 ways. Let us now answer letter B. If one ball is blue and one is red, and our solution is sub 4 c sub 1 times sub 3 c sub 1 is equal to 4 factorial all over 1 factorial times the quantity 4 minus 1 factorial times 3 factorial all over 1 factorial times the quantity 3 minus 1 factorial is 4 factorial all over 1 factorial times 3 factorial times 3 factorial all over 1 factorial times 2 factorial we have 4 times 3 factorial all over 1 factorial times 3 factorial and we need to cancel out 3 factorial from the numerator and from the denominator times 3 times 2 factorial all over 1 factorial times 2 factorial and also we need to cancel out 2 factorial from our numerator and from our denominator we have 4 times 3 is 12 ways. Let us now answer letter C. If all 2 balls are blue and our solution is sub 4 c sub 2 is equal to 4 factorial all over 2 factorial times the quantity 4 minus 2 factorial is 4 factorial all over 2 factorial times 2 factorial we have 4 times 3 times 2 factorial all over 2 factorial times 2 factorial and we need to cancel out 2 factorial from our numerator and from our denominator, we have 4 times 3 all over 2 or 12 over 2 is 6 ways. And letter D, if all 2 balls are red, our solution is sub 3 c sub 2 is equal to 3 factorial all over 2 factorial times the quantity 3 minus 2 factorial is 3 factorial all over 2 factorial times 1 factorial we have 3 times 2 factorial all over 2 factorial times 1 factorial and we have to cancel out 2 factorial from our numerator and from our denominator or we have 3 over 1 and our answer will be 3 ways. Let us have illustration 5. A committee of 3 members is to be formed from 5 women and 5 men. The committee must include at least two men. In how many ways can this be done? And our solution is sub 5 c sub 1 times sub 5 c sub 2 plus sub 5 c sub 0 times sub 5 c sub 3 is equal to 5 factorial all over 1 factorial times the quantity 5 minus 1 factorial times 5 factorial all over 2 factorial times the quantity 5 minus 2 factorial plus 5 factorial all over 0 factorial times the quantity 5 minus 0 factorial times 5 factorial all over 3 factorial times the quantity 5 minus 3 factorial is 5 factorial all over 1 factorial times 4 factorial times 5 factorial all over 2 factorial times 3 factorial plus 5 factorial all over 0 factorial 
times 5 factorial times 5 factorial all over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. Remember that 0 factorial is 1. We have 5 times 4 factorial all over 1 factorial times 4 factorial. We need to cancel out 4 factorial from our numerator and from our denominator times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial all over 2 factorial times 3 factorial. We also need to cancel out 3 factorial from our numerator and from our denominator plus 5 factorial all over 5 factorial which means 1 times 5 times 4 times 3 factorial all over 3 factorial times 2 factorial. We also need to cancel out 3 factorial from our numerator and from our denominator. Then we have 5 over 1 times 20 over 2 plus 1 over 1 times 20 over 2. We have 5 times 10 plus 1 times 10 is 50 plus 10 is 60 ways. I hope you have learned from my discussion. Thank you for listening. See you on my next video lesson. Goodbye!